Monty Griffin, and uh, this is a quick response uh, to the Bad Cop 69 concerning K Grip Glove and one or two other things because that's how he does his videos. So I figure, hey, why not return the favor? Frankly, I've always had reservations about cybernetics. If you want to know uh, some of what I've been looking at, though I don't necessarily agree to all of it, uh, go to the site run by Greg Nicoletos called We The People Will Not Be Chipped.com. I do not like the idea of permanent or damaging or altering technology applied to the human body that basically you can't do anything with once it's done. Oh, sure, there are people who'll say, you know, we should plug ourselves up like the Matrix. Yeah, maybe. However, I really can't get behind it. I mean, it's just so permanent and it's so singular. Hmm. Can't get behind it. Anyway, uh, as far as the K-Grip glove goes, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. As you were saying, it does. It would reduce repetitive strain injury. Uh, it'd probably save God only knows how many people's backs. Uh, and the best bit of all, you can remove it and upgrade the technology without having to change your own body. Love it. So, yeah, K okay, Grip Glove, removable technology. Removable technology, like my glasses. My glasses are removable technology. I can replace them, I can change them, I can upgrade them, I can turn them into bifocals. I can get all different kinds of lenses, all different kinds of frames. It still has to comply to my head. My body, as part of me, is the more important bit. Most important bit. Unparalleled, everything has to fit around it. Anyhow. Uh, as far as your uh, ex goes, man. Little something I've learned about narcissistic personality. The only, and I do mean only reason these people whinge about their problems is because they're looking for a get out. They're looking for an exception in your judgment. They're looking for something where you'll say, oh, well, if that happened to you, then yeah, okay, I'll give you a free pass on that. And of course they exploit that to the uh, until they run it into the ground. Trust me. They always, always, always look for an excuse and they'll usually find something that someone will believe. And if they're particularly crafty, they will usually get that individual to be around when they use that excuse because that individual will, will, with all earnestness, lend credibility to their story or to their interpretation of whatever story they've either cooked up or incidentally experienced and blown out of proportion. So yeah, you wonder why she was bitching it about her problems? She was looking for a back door. Take whatever meaning you want from that as you like. Anyway. Also, I'm not that astute. I mean, okay, maybe I've studied government and history a little more than some. It's still not a lot. What I've really found interesting is that you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist uh, to figure out what I figured out. You don't have to really do much more than take your average uh, primary school or secondary school textbook and open it up to any chapter on any civilization and you're pretty quickly going to figure out what Deke Jackson said. Take any... He was actually the guy who said this first. Take any textbook about history, flip into any section, and you're going to find that a small group of sociopathic people aren't just greedy wanting stuff for themselves, they want stuff to keep it away from everybody else. The game Keep Away, where you throw something away from something and you, someone and you pass it between you and your buddies to keep it off of somebody, is basically being done to our entire society. All I can tell you is this. Uh, trust me, it never works out in the long run for them. So, yeah, like I was saying, man, I'm not that astute. I think, I still reckon Deke Jackson uh, knows way more than I do. However, he had a point. 
there's always some group of people that put out a very convincing light, like your ex, and they get people to believe it, probably either like your ex's mother or, I don't know, s s any of the other people around her or the court system uh, who, you know, people, or I should say, people in the court system who earnestly believe it. Uh, anyway. Like I was saying, dude, it's... It's just a case of who sounds more believable. And believe me, over time, she'll rob herself of all credibility. You just have to show what she's said in the past. Preferably uh, on film, on tape, or with more witness testimony than she can get. That's where it always brings a narcissist unstuck, man. Just perspective. I know. Anyhow. I hope this has given you a bit more input. And yeah, just remember there was a great incident a while back where <clears throat> I think it was either the Sheriff's Department, uh, U.S. Marshals, someone like that, uh, seized the physical servers from an internet service provider because they didn't understand how to seize files and check for replications on the servers. <laughs> Look it up if you don't believe me. I'll talk to you later, man.